Hey everyone, it's David. Welcome to Soulfish. This is a channel for spiritual growth and personal development, and I am super happy you're here. If the messages here resonate, don't forget to subscribe. Help our little channel become a big channel for change, right? It's time for October's energy update. Now, if you've been following along, you've kind of understood that energy comes in waves. It becomes stacked on each other because you have a wave of this, then stacked on top of another wave of that, right? And so for October, this is going to be, you're going to find a more sustaining energy, kind of more of a, a consistent energy vibe for you. And the purpose behind that is a couple of things. And what you're going to feel, how is it going to manifest? What's it going to do for you? is that you're going to find your plans are starting to take form now. You're starting to you're starting to really think about in a tangible way how your plans are going to manifest into something tangible and something real into something that uh, is your next kind of big story. So in this in between time that we're in and that we've all been discussing between kind of a book one that has closed, a new book is going to start up. It's not chapters, it's not a continuation of a story, it's actually a whole new story with new characters. And so in this time that you're in, and as the energy is kind of moving us forward, you know, if you think about it, this doesn't happen too frequently in your life where kind of like all the stars align for you to help you manifest and move forward quickly. And that's really what this energy is doing. It's what it feels like to me, is that we've gone through kind of an energy enema of the last six months of squeezing stuff out, of making you change where you've been, how you've been feeling, how you approach stuff, how you think about things. All of that has been shifting. And now it's really starting to uh, manifest into a new teaching, a new application, a new you, a new a new how are you going to live kind of view. Um, and that's a really cool place to be at. That's a, um, a really neat place to be at because it means that you use the experience that you've gained. You use um, all the teachings that you've learned to this point and you're actually applying them to better yourself, to better what your daily life looks like. And that's, and that's what your spirituality is for, is how do you interact here in this place, how do you elevate matter, you, your base desires, how do you elevate that towards spirit, not how are you bringing spirit towards matter, that's what's being done here, that's, that's kind of what we see in that things that are good are turned bad and things that are bad are turned good, right, is this inversion where we're trying to bring spirit down to matter, that's not what we're here to do, if you're for the light, you're here to elevate matter towards spirit. How do you do that? You do that by fixing yourself. You do that by pulling the weeds in your garden. You do that by changing yourself. And when we change ourselves, everything around us changes. Period. So how does this energy of this next month, what, what's going to happen here in October? How does that manifest for you? What, what's, gonna, what's it going to help you do? Or how can you take advantage of what you're feeling, of what the flow is, and really do some great things for yourself? Well, one, you're going to find that you're gonna, ideas are taking shape or taking form, that, that you're starting to see things coalesce, become real, that ideas you might have had are manifesting into a physical form. So I want to caution you two ways. One, try not for you to pick the form it takes. You stay focused on the feeling of what you're wanting, right? That's, that's the prayer part. You're staying focused on the feeling of what you're wanting and let the universe deliver that to you. You don't pick the house. You pick what the house is going to have and how it's going to make you feel being there. And the universe will deliver that. Don't pick the area. Don't pick anything. Just pick how it's supposed to feel and the universe will deliver it. Make sense? If you're, you're going to find that you're going to want to rush things a little bit because you're finally feeling this movement. You're feeling that, wow, you know, things are finally, I can see how things could take shape. I could see how this could be really cool. I could see how my next story could be more like this. And then you want to start participating now and getting more active in that and maybe even kind of trying to nudge things along a little bit. You can't do that. That's what you don't want to be doing right now. 
You need to feel it, let it take shape. It's going to take the amount of time it takes. Doesn't mean you need to dilly dally. Doesn't mean mean that you're not here to to uh, uh, be engaged and you're motivated. I'm just saying to you is don't don't be pushing what you're trying to do. Go with the flow. You know, in a river there are some fast spots and then there are also some slow spots. I'm saying to you, recognize what are the fast spots and you go, 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 and recognize when it's time for you to pause. Do not try to force your way through those slow spots. And then lastly, it comes down to doing the work, right? You just have to keep doing the work on you and doing your work as far as, as things are coalescing, taking shape, this idea, this new story that you're putting yourself and readying yourself for, you know, you're here to do the work, but then you got to let go. You can't hold on to the work you've done. You can't say, well, I did this work. Now, where, where's my immediate, you know, uh, benefit here? Where, where were the results right now? That's not what we're doing. What we're doing right now is you are laying out everything. It's like you're building a house and you're clearing the land and you're deciding, you know, where are the house is going to go on the land and you're creating your footers and you're starting all of this kind of uh, slow stuff. Like you're really trying to outline what's going to happen because the actual build itself is going to happen very quick. What happens for you when this all takes shape is going to happen very quick. But what you're doing now is kind of architecting things out in a co-creation. When I say that is you're to be listening, hear what you're supposed to be doing, and then you need to execute on that. So the co-creation, the architecture is feeling like, hey, I want a home that's safe. I want a home that does this, that does that. You're, you're almost, you know, what makes the house special is not the outside, right? It's the inside. It's like a cup, right? The container. What makes a cup useful is not the outside, but what the inside is, which holds stuff, right? That's what you're after, is this feeling of. So stay focused on that. That's what this, this month is going to help you to do. And you're building towards something really, really amazingly, consciously, awareness, with awareness. And you're letting go to source and spirit. And that helps you because they'll guide you in the right spot if you're willing to do that work. That's the co-creation part, is hearing and then saying, oh, I can do that, and then you figuring out a way to do that that feels organic to you. I hope that's helpful. Until next time.